Charlie, you mentioned that Charlie, you've mentioned that if given the chance or the same chance with a smaller capital base, you would still look for mispriced stock opportunities. Of uh, course. <laughs> uh, and that would be determined through obviously what what we call the uh, the intrinsic value of the organization or the, the company in question, an aggregate of the discounted future cash flows. Would you work the arithmetic using a fictional data set to illustrate the mathematical principia uh, to determine an intrinsic value? Um, and I'd hope you include the comprehensive metal, uh, mental model of the key metrics considered, any quali uh, qualitative assessments of the management, and any assumptions of its industry to determine the durability of its earning power. Uh, and Warren, uh, same, same to that effect, would you also demonstrate or illustrate a, uh, an arithmetic uh, problem set using with a significant capital base and provide the object lessons on how those have changed from a small to a large capital base? Well, I can't give you a formulaic approach because I don't use one. And I just mix all, I just mix all the factors and, and if the gap between value and, and price is not attractive, I go on to something else. And sometimes it's just quantitative. For instance, when Costco was selling at about 12 or 13 times earnings, I thought that was a ridiculously low value just because the competitive strength of the business was so great and it was so likely to keep doing better and better. But I can't reduce that to a formula for you. Uh, I like the cheap real estate, I like the competitive position, I liked the, the way the personnel system worked, I, I liked everything about it and I thought, even though it's three times book or whatever it was then, uh, that it, it, it's worth more. But that's not a formula that anybody, if you want a formula, you should go back to graduate school. They'll, they'll give you lots of formulas that won't work. This is the longest we've ever gone in the Berkshire meeting without Charlie saying that getting to the point where he prefers Costco to Berkshire. <laughs> <laughs>